Ilya's rope. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Autumn. I'm Ruth. And we're up Ilya's rope. Uh, we just need two things to get started tonight. Uh, the first is a number between 1 and 11. Nine. Nine. Thank you, nine. nine. So good about that. And then just the first word that pops into your head. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, I'm hmm. Okay, number nine and lovely. Oh, I see it shining out there. In the night As we're walking We don't know what's gonna happen But we're on the hill Looking out at the night We could make everything alright just tonight, focusing on all the things, getting all the wrongs out of sync. All the wrongs, all the wrongs, all the rights. Maybe tonight it'll be all right. Even on this rock and that rock, and all our problems follow us. They always show up every time. Why? Everything on paper says we should be alright. I'm telling you, I'm trying. I made a list on the refrigerator. But it's so hard, I just don't care What can I say tonight? We could sit on rocks And glance at the stars and pretend Everything's alright and we're lovely Oh so lovely, nothing's wrong will go on and on and on and on until we die but then i think oh yeah i think so about it too you my trust and i think so many times you complain and every I single understand. time i don't understand you're insane <laughs> It doesn't bother me, it's a cup with some coffee, who cares? Let's look at the lights and make it all right. We're so lovely together on paper, we make sense. And I thought that we could be lovely. Tonight, it'll be all right. All right. You'll forgive me for a fortnight and we'll go on. We'll go on as long as we're here on this earth. On this earth and maybe Mars, cause I signed up for us to go on the shuttle. Without asking me. Always oh, without asking me. But you said you like stars and Mars is closer to the stars than Earth is Cause you're lovely yeah. You always make me feel better I do, don't I? You do See, that should be a pro uh, I, It's a pro, we can put that in the pro column Okay, okay. do it <laughs> You want me to put it on mine? Well, yeah, because that's a pro for me. Oh. I mean, I don't care that I make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> pro. Con. 
That, you didn't even write. You just I put a dot. Yeah. It wasn't even a full hash mark. Because it was diminished by what you, you don't care. You don't care if you make me feel better. Do you no, know that's like something. Feel? Yeah, that's what makes you feel better. Yeah. It's not what makes me. Me making you feel better doesn't make me feel better. If you, if me feeling better doesn't make you feel better, <laughs> then I don't even know what we're doing here. Why do people have to feel better about making people feel better, Abby? That's the definition of being in a couple. You care when the other person feels better. That, I feel like you're stretching. No. Like if I was to open dictionary.com, you would be wrong. <laughs> okay, well that's suburban dictionary. And I feel like they're a little bit looser on their interpretations. But I see your point and I recognize it. Thank you. Can we enjoy the picnic that I brought? I mean, I would say yes, but it sounds like you don't even mean that. I mean, I meant it when I picked up the Arby's for us, so uh -huh. that should mean something, right? There's meaning in the roast beef. Yes, yes, yes. I'm no, if you don't want it, I'll just, it. I'll toss it. it to whatever wild animals are over this cliff. Do that. Why not? Because they need to eat us. too. Why would they come for us if they have roast beef? Because it's just like a little bit, it's like human amounts of food. They're going to come for us because they're bigger. Roast beef is beef. It's a cow. They'll go looking for more cows. That is not how nature works. Are you? <laughs> I feel like I have a better understanding of nature than you do. Oh, just because you went on like three field trips to the farm when you grew up in Missouri? Yeah. Okay. You have, you've been to zero trips to a farm. The only farms you've seen have been in movies where they cut stuff out. Well, I'm just saying, I don't think you know as much as you think you know. Well, I think I know more than you. Okay, fine. You know more than me. Oh, no, no. Don't say it if you don't mean no, it, Abby. I mean it. No, Abby. Don't, you know, here. Let me put that on my con list. Okay, Larry, put it on your con list. See if I care. I keep my list on my phone so I don't have to carry around paper and a pencil. Dr. Goodman said we were supposed to do it on a notepad with paper and pencil. Notepad that looks like a paper and my finger is a pencil. Dr. Goodman says that if you do it digitally, it doesn't have the same impact. Well, good for you. I guess you weren't listening that day. I was listening every day that you made me go. I didn't make you go. You said you wanted to go. You said it was this or nothing. Yeah. That's... You said you wanted to go. No, I said I'd go. I didn't say I wanted to go. Now you're putting words into my mouth. So Who's even, not listening? Wait, you didn't even want to go? I mean, I said I'd go. Who wants to go with an ultimatum? It wasn't supposed to be an ultimatum. It was just like, I can't be with you anymore if we don't fix this. So let's go. And then you said, okay. And I thought that meant you wanted to go, but now I find out this whole time you didn't even want to go. And you've been doing stuff for a year that you don't even want to do? Are you going to cry? <laughs> yes! Oh my God. I don't feel bad about that. Is that a pro or a con? That's a con! <laughs> Abby, don't cry. I am going to cry. Look, I, you want me to be honest with you, but then you start crying. I want you to be honest, but in a way that's sensitive. <laughs> I went because you wanted it. But if someone else had wanted it, I wouldn't have gone. Really? <laughs> yes. That is truthful. That was really sweet. Now can we have some roast beef? Yes, we can oh. have some roast beef. <laughs> um, I found two more kittens. Where are they coming from? I think someone is abandoning them in our backyard. Oh my God, that's so sad. I'm just gonna put them with the rest of the kittens. Oh, Jillian, I think we need to get like help for this. I mean, that's a lot of kittens to bottle feed. Uh, I mean, these look pretty big. I don't think we have to bottle feed these. Okay, I mean, but what are they gonna eat? 
Like they went there teeny little mouth. They're so teeny eyes. So teeny. <laughs> don't, don't get attached. Why not? That one pissed at me. Well, because you just poked at it with you're not going to give it food. Well, I, I didn't know that. I just, I've never had kittens before. I thought they were cute and sweet and they wanted you to... Like, pay attention to them. When they come to you from love, these were abandoned. They're traumatic. Well, these are traumatic kittens. Traumatic kittens. Oh. I mean, how would you feel if you had just been abandoned by your mother in the backyard? Probably pretty happy when somebody wanted to give me attention. Well, give it attention then. I was trying to, and then it hissed me. Well, because you weren't giving it attention, you were like mocking it. I Go give it some food. Okay. What? Like what? Like like. Like some of the birds. Tuna. Oh, okay, tuna, totally. That's what I was going to say after birthday cake. I think birthday cake, you can't give animals birthday cake. It's got too many preservatives. Okay. okay. That's why it's bad for us, too. Uh, what? Birthday cake's not bad for us. We're not going to be able to use this playpen after this, are we? No. Oh. I'd really hope to convince you to have a baby. I know. Uh, Jillian, I. Just, just pop, pop it. You don't have to make the noise. It makes it for you. I have to make the noise. You know I have to make the noise. I, I think your mom really messed you up on that one. You don't have to make the noise, and you should always take the lid off. They could cut their little tongues on I it. I don't know what kittens can do. Well, they, they can't eat a lid. Oh, wow. Oh my They're gosh. super hungry. They're like, <laughs> wow. Uh, do we need more tuna? Probably. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, there are 12 of them. Okay, don't change the subject. You look disappointed about, fine, make the noise. Shh. <laughs> and the lid. Um, okay, I've been trying to think of how to bring this up, Jillian, but I just, I don't, I don't wanna have a baby. Well, I'll carry it. No, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't want to have a child. <clears throat> like, I don't, I don't have any interest in like raising a child. But your profile said you did. Mm. Yeah, because I, I mean, when I was like married before to Greg, like we were trying to have a baby. So I just thought like, I wanted to have a baby. And then so... I, thought I didn't want to have a baby with him because I was gay, but it turns out I just don't want to have one. So you could have taken it off your profile. Well, I didn't know until we were like together. So like meeting me with the final nail in the coffin about not procreating? I mean, kind of, but only, <laughs> only because I thought that like, don't, don't cry. It's not like personal. It's like, it is I personal. Just, like, I am a reason no, someone no, shouldn't no, bring okay. children into the world. So, so, okay. I mean, I, was, I didn't even need to like make the baby myself. I was willing to like get one from someone else no, no, or no. you know mix one in a tube for you. We could even mix it with other people if you wanted to look a certain you way. You made me realize that I didn't want to have a baby because you are the first person I've ever been with that I really love. And if I don't want to have a baby with you then I know that I really don't want to have a baby. So the cats are because of you. I didn't bring them here. You manifested them. I didn't I know what you, you manifested them with your playpen. You, your, all your little like nursery things that you keep leaving around that look like cat toys, frankly. Because I can't bring a real baby into the world, you brought kittens into mine. I didn't, I, I'm not trying to bring, do you want to put them outside? We can put them outside. Oh, oh yeah, Cindy, let's be cruel on top of heartless. Come on, I'm not, I didn't manifest the kittens. It's just something that happened. 12 kittens? I know, it's That's a, a bit much for anybody who isn't part of a rescue society, Cindy. I know, it's weird. Our house is overrun because you have no heart. That's really mean, Jillian. Just Good, I, I hope I hurt you like you're hurting me. I'm not trying to hurt you. I, I can't. You really want me to have a baby with you and then not? care about the child that we have? Correct. And I'll you. care for the child. But what, then I'm not happy with you anymore. We're not happy in our lives. And then we break Who up. Who cares?
years. People aren't supposed to be together for more than like 10 years anyway. What? <laughs> it's a You fact. set up your profile <laughs> looking for a forever friend. Yes, forever friend. I'm not friends with my exes. I am. Wait, you're friends with your exes? Yeah. How? They're all my best friends. You've met every single one of them. You went out with them? Yes. What? Even Yvonne? Oh, yeah, that was three months Paris. It was wonderful. What? And then it was over. Okay. But we're friends. Well, I can't be friends with my exes. So if we're going to break up after 10 years, then that's it. Then why don't you take your crocheted blanket and sleep in the office. Okay, just because you crocheted me a blanket doesn't mean it's my crocheted blanket. I crocheted your name into it. Cindy, not that you ever noticed. I didn't because it's ugly and it's that rough yarn that's uncomfortable. It is alpaca. <laughs> well, alpaca is not as soft as I thought then. And it's a little itchy. It's just like you, Cindy. It's just like you. I, I don't. I. <laughs> <laughs> you doing all right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Just making sure. Looks like that was a little bit of a long way down. Okay, Tiffany. Remember why we talked about a, your older man fetish? I, I, it's not a fetish. I, I'm not with one guy older than me. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, Jeff. I know, but you touch me an awful lot, Tiffany. Oh, I just, I worry about you. You kind of look like you're going to fall over a lot of the time. Yeah, no one else touches me. I, I know. Plausible deniability. Don't you think If you touch right? me and I fall, everyone's going to think you pushed me. I would never push you. You know, don't you think it's weird that out of everyone that comes to visit here at the Senior Center, I'm the only one that spends time with you? No. You've got that older man fetish. I do not have an old... Jeff! Fine, I have an older man fetish. Okay, well, it's good you admit it so you know you have a problem. All right, I have a problem. Okay, you going back up now, Tiffany? You All right, all right. Did you paint anything in class today? I did. What did you paint? That one. You did that? Don't be so surprised. I had no idea that you were so adept at watercolor. I went to art school. Really? Tiffany, do you not listen to anything in our conversation? I Are you do just listen. drooling over me like I'm a piece of meat? <laughs> yes, I'm drooling. mentioned that you studied art, but I didn't really think you went to art school. This is really incredible. Yeah. Did you, you didn't even do this. This isn't the same school life as everybody else. You just, did you just paint this from your mind? No, I looked out the window, Tiffany. Everyone else was looking at the table and I looked out the window. It's beautiful. I know. Are you, are you going to play chess with me or not? Okay. Always make me sit with my back to the door. Well, because that's where the. You, now you're blocking the light. I'll come around to the side then. No, just just go over there. Which, which, you it's a me? round table, Tiffany. You can sit 360 around but it's it. It's not a round chessboard. Maybe it should be. Maybe you could paint one. Well, we could play Chinese checkers. Okay. That I've looks kind of around before. me either, but I have it down there. All right, you want to make it up? No, because every time you try to get out one of the games, all of the monkeys in the barrels fall out. All right, all right. And then I'm the only one who puts them back in. Okay, we'll just play chess. Oh, it's me. All right. Really, that's the move you want to make? Yes, it's the move I want to make. 
<laughs> you can't move too. <laughs> it doesn't. That doesn't move like that. I, I didn't move too. You went like this. <laughs> it's that's too <laughs> different. I, I, was, I mean, I'm old, but I'm not blind. I was hesitating. It would, okay, fine. I'll move back. That that was the other piece. <laughs> Are you not even looking at the board? No, I'm looking Tiffany, at Tiffany, just say. Well, then say say whatever it is you want to say, Tiffany. You're the longest helper that's been here. Yeah. So why? Cause I, I don't know. I I guess I just I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.